Hey everybody, it's Dan Spera, www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Today I want to get into a little bit about phase three studies, that's phase three, and why I believe these are probably the uh, clinical trials that offer the participant the greatest benefit and least likely risk. Um, phase one studies, they're used to assess the toxicity of the drug. So that's why they're conducted on healthy normal volunteers and uh, what they're trying to determine is the dose, the maximum dose at which side effects start showing up and uh, you know these are often bad unwanted side effects. So uh, in these phase one studies there's really no, no other purpose besides altruism for doing these trials other than earning money and they the participants in these studies get paid a lot of money and they uh, often identify themselves as human guinea pigs uh, and then the phase two trials uh, usually um, they try to find the optimum dose for that particular therapeutic indication and it's often compared with a placebo so there's still these phase two studies are obviously a little less risky um, but the phase three trials, they've already found the, um, the optimum dose and they found out, you know, the majority of the side effects and whatnot. So at this point, if a drug makes it to phase three, it means it's pretty promising. And that's why these, these phases of trials are called, uh, what are they called? What's the word? Uh, pivotal trials. So, um, they're called pivotal trials because if the drug does well in phase three, it's going to be approved more than likely. Um, so these phase three trials, uh, they're often compared. The drug is compared with a uh, standard treatment that's already out on the market. So usually there's no placebo involved. So you're either going to get the experimental drug, which has already passed phase one and phase two, or the standard method of treatment which is already on the market and you may already be receiving. So what I'm trying to say is if an experimental compound already gets to phase three, um, it means it's somewhat promising and maybe beneficial to you. Um, if it does not get to phase three, it was already abandoned either because it, it was too toxic, um, the dose that is acceptable does not work. Uh, so it doesn't show efficacy or it has too many side effects and the FDA would never approve such a drug. So just by getting to phase three says a lot about the drug in question and these studies I believe offer the greatest potential benefit and the least potential risk to the trial participant. Uh, if you have any other questions feel free to contact us That's www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com and you can email me at dan, that's D-A-N, at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Hope this helps clear up a lot of the misconception out there because phase, phase three studies are extremely different from phase one and two. Thank you very much.